And um, just to start off today, here's where we are and where we're going. Uh, last time we discussed brightness and what we can learn about stars by looking at their brightness. Uh, today we are going to focus on the colors of stars. Uh, and then after that, we'll look at their uh, stellar spectra and what we can learn from their spectra and how they change. So um, just diving right in, when we look at the sky, we can clearly see the colors of stars. And we can actually use that to determine the temperatures of stars. So by the end of today, we should be able to uh, basically look at this uh, kind of image and understand exactly what it is that we're looking at. So if you go outside uh, at night, uh, you should be able to wow your friends by telling them which star is hotter and which star is cooler in the night sky. The other thing we'll focus on today is um, looking at different uh, wavelength ranges. So looking, for example, at an infrared image of the constellation Orion and asking ourselves, what do we see in those different wavelength ranges that we cannot detect in the visible range. So for example here, just to give you a, I guess, spoiler or a sneak peek, uh, some of the bright regions in the infrared image correspond to areas where there is active star formation in the constellation. One of those is a region called the Orion Nebula, which is down here in sort of the, the I guess that's a dagger or something in the constellation of Orion. Orion is, I think, the mythical hunter, so. All right, so specifically we'll start with uh, exploring the electromagnetic spectrum, ask ourselves why we even care about looking at this uh, astronomy in multiple wavelengths, and then we'll focus in on star color and luminosity by talking about the idea of black body radiation uh, and interpreting black body graphs, uh, covering the radiation laws, the two laws that tell us about how uh, star temperature controls some of the other properties of stars, and then we'll talk about also how these things tie into a star's physical size. 